Hey guys, Eric Wimmer here with HeatCable.com and Wasatch Heat Cable. Uh, today we had a call from a wonderful customer that's looking to do a project and I wanted to put some added content together to help him along with others that might be in the situation. So a product that we sell is a thermostat controller. This particular controller has a thermostat probe that sticks out the bottom. You can put your ports in at any point on the box for your heat cable to come in and or power source. Now, depending on where you mount this, will change some of that, that information. Now, this particular box, in this situation, like with our client, we want to put this thermostat probe not on the box, but we want to put it outside and have the electrical box inside the building. Okay. To do that, we would actually have this sent separate, a different this box, possibly a different box, depending on the contents that's going into it. And the way you would do this is I want to explain the way this thermostat works. So the thermostat probe itself, this part has to mount outside so it feels the exterior uh, ambient temperature in the atmosphere so it knows what's going on. This part has to be contained inside of some kind of a tight box. So you can put a junction box in the soffit and then drill a hole through a blank plate cover and have this slip in the plate cover and then slip on into the box. So this is the box that we would contain this in if we wanted to mount this outside. Again, the back part of the thermostat right here needs to be contained in something and out of the weather. So we would drill a hole in this, mount that in there, and it would be inside. You'd have your wires coming into the box and then possibly go into the building. So if you have a junction box in the soffit already, this can mount up into the junction box and be contained. Now to run this, let's go ahead and take a look at all, our, all of our components. This will be mounted inside the house. This will be mounted outside the house. And your, your power wire, so this is our power cord that can be also ordered, already attached to the heat cable, so you're just working with the ends, can then mount right into your control box and then run through the house outside, depending on your local electrical, electrical code. You have to make sure you keep an eye on those things. And the power that powers up your control box can come from behind the box and go straight in, or it, come, it can come from the side or any other port and come into it. Your thermostat, so inside of our box here, this thermostat's already mounted, but your thermostat, if you're mounting it outside, you're gonna have a power cord coming in, running through this out to the thermostat, coming back in, and then powering up your heat cable. So you'll have two lines that have to exit the building, one for your thermostat and one for your heat cable. So that's all uh, fairly simple once you've seen it done, and we'll do some additional videos actually doing this on site on a project sometime. But I hope this is helpful, uh, giving you an idea of how this can work and how you can keep all the electrical stuff contained inside the building, potentially have just a thermostat probe outside, and then your heat cable outside with the power cord going through a wall. So again, check on your electrical code. Sometimes they do not want um, power, power wire of any kind running straight through a building. It may need to be in a conduit and or through some sort of a metal junction point. So check on those. Your local code enforcement will be the ones to, to look at on that. Thanks, Eric Wimmer, Wasatch Heat Cable and heatcable.com.